Max, uh, what kind of a spice do we have here? We have the Caribbean spice, uh, which is technically a spice that you can use on pretty much everything. But it's really been created for any kind of seafood, fish. It's delicious on pork and chicken. To be true, on beef, you have better spices than this one. But for everything I said, the rest, like, it's delicious. Even on some uh, veggies, it's gonna be great, definitely. Max, well, whenever I think of Caribbean and some of the, the places I've visited in the Caribbean, I always think just amazing, uh, amazing grilled fish, yep. grilled seafood. I feel like this has got to go on seafood. Oh yeah, definitely. You take your fresh lobster, you crack it, you take it a little bit everywhere and you're going to grill it. And you want it like to kind of burn. So develop all the flavor and all the like the, the yeah, the burning of the spices and the sugar that's going to become crispy on it. It's going to give you like some kind of a crisp when you eat that lobster, it's delicious. And same thing on fish, you just like cut some parts, uh, some uh, opening in the fish, in a whole fish kind of. So you cut it and you just fill those opening with it. So like I said, th there's some sugar in it, so the sugar is gonna melt and it's gonna create some kind of a sauce uh, with, with the, the juice of the fish and everything, so. Okay, uh, let's say on a scale of one to 10, how spicy would you say this? Uh, this it's, it's not spicy at all, to be true, because when we developed it, we said Caribbean, but in Canada, we got a lot of fishing also. You know, a lot of lake, a lot of good trout and uh, trout and everything. So, when you take a trout and you want like not to have something too spicy, you just want to like, have a great taste. You take that spice. So, let's say like Canad Canadian Caribbean. Canadian Caribbean, I love it. That's okay. Nice, huh? <laughs> and uh, in terms of like preparing, say I want to prepare my dish. Yep. Uh, any special instructions before I hit the grill? Or no, actually, not really. I, it's really like a grilling. Uh, rub uh, so you know you put it right before you put anything on the grill you can also do like a, a cold smoked salmon and use uh, some of it uh, I would recommend mixing it with like Montreal steak spice and stuff like that but it will uh, and then you just let it go for like 24 hours but uh, if you yeah if you're planning on cooking your, your your meat or your fish or anything I would recommend just putting it right before you put it on the grill okay Max you've sold me that's great